स्टूडेंट टूडे विल स्टार्ट विद चैप्टर ऑफ पाइथागोरस थियरम ओके नाइन्थ आईसीएसई एंड द वेरी फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके फाइंड सी वेन ए एंड बी आर गिवन विद दिस इज अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल रिमेंबर दैट अ साइड अपोजिट टू नाइंटी डिग्री इज द हाइपोटेनियस ओके एंड वील से साइड वन और साइड टू यू कैन से बेस और हाइट so in this part we will find c and we are having b and a okay so by pythagoras theorem by pythagoras theorem we will take hypotenuse square is equal to side 1 square plus side 2 Square. So hypotenuse. What is hypotenuse? Side opposite to ninety degree. That is C square. Side one. That is A square. And side two. That is B square. So C square as it is. What is A? It is eight square. What is B? It is six square. So C square is equal to eight square is sixty four. Six square is thirty six. C square is hundred. Taking square root. We have C is equal to ten. Okay. In the very next question of the first part, we will we need to find out a and c and b are given without wasting any time. I directly use Pythagoras theorem. I have c square is equal to a square plus b square. This should be constant for all the questions. So c square we have it as twenty five square. A square. What is a? We don't know. And what is b? It is seven square. So six twenty five. Two twenty five square is six twenty five. Seven square is forty nine. It will come here and get subtracted. So six twenty five minus forty nine is five hundred and five seventy six. So a is equal to twenty four. Taking square root. Okay. So just subtract it, we will get the answer. Okay. The next one again we will use Pythagoras theorem. We need to find b c is thirteen and a is five. So c square is equal to a square plus b square. C square is thirteen. 13 square is 169. These are the easiest sum. Therefore, I am skipping some of the steps. A square is 5. 5 square is 25. We have b square 25. Will come here and get subtracted. We have 144, and the value of b is 12. Okay. Now we will move to the second question of the same exercise. The question is the rectangular field. First of all, what is rectangular field? A uh, quadrilateral having all the angles 90 degree. Okay, I'll name this rectangular field as A B C D. Okay, forty meter long and thirty meter broad. Okay, forty meter long and thirty meter broad, and we need to find the length of the diagonal. Okay, so this is a diagonal, and diagonal is over here is nothing but the hypotenuse. Okay, so I'll say that as it is a rectangular field therefore all the angles are right angle all the angles are right angle theek hai let quadrilateral abcd be the rectangular field okay let the quadrilateral abcd be the rectangular field so we can say that diagonal square that is bd square i will write by pythagoras theorem by pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square that is bd square is equal to bc square plus dc square so this is the diagonal that is bd square is equal to bc is 30 dc is 40 so bd square is equal to 30 square is 900 40 square is 1600 so it is 2500 taking square root i will have bd is equal to 50 Okay, twenty-five square is five hundred square is ten. Therefore, the 
length of the diagonal is 50 meters. Got it? Okay, the next question is the third one. A man goes 15 meter due west. See, this is the north. This is the west. This is the east. Okay, so man is standing over here. I will take this point as A. Okay, so man goes 15 meter due west. Place this point as B. And 8 meter due north. You go 8 meter due north. I will take this point C. And the question is how far he is from the starting point. So he is now over here and this was the starting point. Therefore the distance between the starting point and the current point is AC. Therefore in triangle ABC by Pythagoras Theorem, I will write AC square that is hypotenuse square is equal to side 1 square plus side 2 square. So we don't know AC square, so AC square as it is. What is AB? 8 square. 8 square plus 15 that is 15 square. So AC square is equal to 8 square that is 64. 15 square is 225. So, AC square is equal to, it is 289, therefore AC is equal to 17 meters. So, he is, so write the final statement, I don't have space over here. Write the final statement as the man is 17 meters away from the starting point now. Okay? Okay, now we will move to the fourth question of the same exercise. Okay? A ladder 17 meter long. This is a ladder 17 meter long, reaches the window of a building which is 15 meter above the ground. This is 15 meter, this is 17 meter. Okay, find the distance of the foot of the ladder. This is the foot of the ladder from the building. Means we need to find AC. Therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, we will write AB square is equal to BC square plus AC square. Okay, so AB is 17 square. BC is 15 square, AC square as it is, 17 square is 289, 15 square is 225 plus we have AC square, so 289 minus 225 is equal to AC square, so we will have this as 64, 64 is equal to AC square, therefore AC is 8 meters, therefore we can say that ladder is 8 meter we can say ladder no foot of the ladder therefore foot of the ladder is 8 meter away from 8 meter away from the building okay Okay, we will move to the fifth question. A ladder 13 meter long rests against a vertical wall. So, this is a ladder 15 meter long. I will just name it as AB. Sorry, 13 meter long. Okay. Rest against a vertical wall. So, this is a vertical wall. And then this as point C. The foot of the ladder is 5 meter from the foot of the wall. Foot of the ladder is foot of the, uh, 5 meter away from the foot of the wall. Okay, find the distance of the, sorry, the foot of the ladder is 5 meter away from the foot of the wall. Find the distance between the other end of the ladder to the ground, means we need to find the distance AC. Therefore, in triangle ACB by Pythagoras, Theorem, we will have AB square is equal to AC square plus BC square. AB that is 13 square. 13 square is 169. I will write it directly. So I have some space to write the sentences. AC we need to find out. Keep it as it is. 
and BC that is 5 square, we will have 25. So 169 minus 25, I have 144. So AC is equal to 12. So what will be the final statement? Therefore, the distance between the other end of the ladder from the ground is 12 meters. Therefore, the distance between other end of ladder from the ground is 12 meters. Okay? Okay, now we'll move to the sixth question of the same exercise 10 of Pythagoras theorem. Okay? Pay attention. I will just draw a diagram first, then I will try to explain you everything. Okay, a ladder is 15 meter long, reaches a window which is 9 meter above the ground. So I will say this is a ladder, I will name this ladder as at point C, which is 15 meter long. So the length of the ladder is 15 meter long, reaches a window which is 9 meter above the ground. Okay. On the one side of the street. So this is the first side of the street. And this is the street. Okay. Keeping the foot as it is. Okay. Foot of the ladder is as it is. The ladder is turned to the other side. This ladder is turned to the other side. So this side. Other side. To reach the window 12 meter high. So now it reaches the window which is 12 meter high. What is the length of the ladder? Ladder is not going to change. It is 15 meter. And you are asked to find out the width of the street. So this part and this part you need to uh, find BD okay so let's start it in triangle ABC in triangle ABC by Pythagoras here okay I'm just writing the short form so hypotenuse square that is AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Okay. AC square is 15 square. So we have 15 square. AB square as it is. Sorry, it is 9. So it is 9 square. And BC square as it is. Okay. So 15 square is 225. My 9 square is 81. So it is minus 81. We will have BC square. So 225 minus 81. 5 minus 1 it is 4. 22 minus 8 it is Mm, 22 minus 8 will give me 124 it is not the perfect answer over here mm, 225 minus 81 144 that is 144 so it is 144 is equal to BC square so BC is equal to 12 okay so this is one side of the street now the second side in triangle c d okay some a b c d e in triangle e d c in triangle e d c again by pythagoras theorem we will have hypotenuse square hypotenuse is side opposite to 90 degree that is c e square have c e square plus side one square that is d E square plus base square that is C D square. What is C? That is 15 square which is 225 again. D E it is 12 square that is 144. And yes 225 minus 144 is equal to C D square. Therefore we have 81 is equal to C D square. And we have C D is equal to we are not asked to find out BC nor CD. We need to find out the width of the street. So we will add this. Therefore the width of the street is 12 plus 9. That is 21 centimeters. Write the final answer. I don't have space over here. That is the width of the street is 29. That is 12 plus 9. That is 21 meters. Okay.